Welcome to the follow along video where you will be taken step by step in designing artwork used in cutting paint masks. This is the companion video to the custom paint masks how to video I have linked in the description. If you have not watched that video yet, click the link to understand the basic concept of designing and cutting your own masks so that this video will make more sense. In this video, I will be taking you along how I created the US World War II Stars and Bars Insignia artwork that was used with my vinyl cutter to cut paint masks for my scale models. The software I use is provided for free from Silhouette brand of vinyl cutters. This software only works with that brand of cutters. I can't speak to how to use any other brands since this is the only one I am familiar with. This isn't a full tutorial on all the tools and functions of the software, but is a good place in learning the basics and getting you comfortable with the software so you can decide if you want to get into designing and cutting your own masks. To start, I've provided links in the description to download the software for free, download the artwork needed for this project, and links to several vinyl cutters this software is compatible with. As you follow along, you can watch me perform a step in the design process and then pause and try that for yourself. This is a good time to pause the video to download and install the software and artwork. Load up the Silhouette Design Studio software and get to the design layout page. Next we will open the artwork that I have provided. Using the plus magnifying tool, you want to zoom in and get close into one of the stars and bars. Using the shape tool, you're going to draw two circles, one inner circle and one outer circle around the star. It's a bit of trial and error to get everything to line up right, reshaping the circles as needed and zooming in and out using the magnifying plus and minus till I get the circles to where I want them to line up. If you mess up and need to go back one or more steps, you can always use the undo arrow that is at the top toolbar just below the word object. That will allow you to go back or forward one or more steps. Don't forget to save your work often so that way if you make a mistake you can go back to a previous save. You can always pause the video and try some of the different tools to familiarize yourself with the software. You're not going to mess anything up and even if you did you could just start over. You can always click the help above the top toolbar which will take you to Silhouette's own tutorial source where you can get familiarized with all the different features and tools that the software has. Now that we have the two circles sized up, I'm going to use the same shape tool and create a rectangle to make sure that the rectangle intersects with the circle and makes the inner and outer bars. Nothing has to be perfect yet, just get as close as possible. You can do a lot of the cleanup work after you get the general shape of the insignia drawn. Once you get the rectangle drawn, you can simply copy and paste to do the other side. To copy and paste quickly, highlight the shape you want to copy, hit the right button on your mouse and a menu will pop up. Hit the copy and then the paste and you'll get a duplicate of your shape. As you can see, I'm simply lining everything up and zooming in and out to make sure I get it properly placed and sized correctly. Using the line tool, I'm going to draw lines following all the different sides of the star, making sure to intersect all the lines at their points so that I get a complete star. I make sure to take each line and go beyond each tip of the star so that the intersecting lines will actually cross each other and go beyond the shape of the star, and we'll take care of that later. To draw a perfectly horizontal or vertical line, when you're drawing the line, hold the shift key down and it will keep the line straight depending on the direction you're going in. I'm not following any specific order. You could do the star first, the rectangles first, or the circles first. It's up to you.
Once you have all the lines drawn, you can zoom in and actually move the lines closer or further away to make sure that they line up with the actual artwork. Sometimes you accidentally grab the artwork and move it instead of the shape. All you have to do is just hit the undo arrow to take it back one step and start over. If you want to see how your work is progressing, you can drag the artwork away, zoom in a few times just to see how everything is shaping up, and then hit the undo button until you get the artwork to go back in its place. Now we're going to do a second rectangle to do the inner white bar shape and it's basically the same process as the first rectangle, just a smaller size. Once you have everything shaped up for the second rectangle, simply copy and paste for the other side. Here I'm just making sure that the corners of the rectangle intersect with the circle. The last thing I always do is just kind of review my work, do any adjustments that need to be done, and then you should have your basic artwork complete. I drew a longer second line to make sure that the horizontal part of the star is lined up with the bars on the insignia and then I just delete that line once I've lined everything else up. Once you feel everything is in place you can drag away the artwork and you will see that you have four rectangles, two circles, and one star all intersecting each other in different ways. Grabbing the erase tool, I set the size to the smallest level it can possibly be. You have two erase shapes, you have a square and a circle, and both can be used in different ways to get rid of all the excess lines and shapes that you need to erase away. Starting with the star, getting as close as I can to the intersecting lines, I use the square shape eraser to get rid of all the internal lines to make the star a solid shape. All you need is a steady hand to get as close as possible to the intersecting lines and if you take a little bit too much away just use the undo button. Once done you should be left with a solid star shape. While holding the shift key down I select all the different pieces of the star to group them as one object. I'm then able to take the star as one complete picture and move it out of the insignia. With all the different parts of the star now grouped together as one picture, I right click on the mouse and hit the group button. This will permanently keep all the parts together as one image. Using your eraser tool, go back in and take in the intersecting line that is not needed between the inner rectangle and the inner circle. Remember to do this for both sides. To merge the outer circle and outer rectangle, while holding the shift key, select both objects and then use the weld tool. Remember to do this for both sides as well. Grab the eraser tool and we're going to remove the unwanted portion of the inner circle. 
I start with the intersecting portions of the circle that come in contact with the rectangle and erase those corners out and then I'll take out the rest of the circle. Now it's time to get in close to the different points of the star and take out the excess lines where they intersect. Work your way to all five points and remove any excess lines. Once the star is all cleaned up, move it back into the insignia and line the horizontal part of the star to the horizontal part of the bar, making sure that it's distributed evenly between the two bars. If needed, you can always adjust the star size slightly to get it to fit between the two bars evenly. With the cleaned up artwork, you can drag the decal image back on top of the artwork to do a double check and see if everything is sized and properly adjusted. Once everything looks good, you can simply select all the items and group everything together as one object. Finally, we place a rectangle around the artwork, leaving a little bit of space around the entire insignia, and this will become your final artwork for the cut file. So there you have it. That's a basic tutorial on how to make the stars and bars insignia. You can try and experiment with some of the other shapes and some of the other drawings on the decal sheet to get better familiarized with all the different tools. I hope you enjoyed this follow along tutorial on how to use the Silhouette software to make your own masks for painting your own markings on your future builds. I provided links in the description of all the products used in this video. There are several options for vinyl cutters at different price ranges so you can choose the right one for your budget and needs. If you click any of the links and make a purchase, I get paid a small commission from the seller at no cost to you so thank you for supporting my channel. Be sure to check out some of my other how-to videos including filling gaps and seams, natural metal finish, and painting checkers. Subscribe to my email newsletter where I share tips and tricks, my newest content, and special deals on kits and supplies. You can find the link in the description. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notify bell so you are kept up to date of all my newest content. Hit the like button while you're at it, and thanks for watching!